What's going on everyone, the competitor here back with another MK11 video, this time highlighting patch notes. Today is the patch day, the new patch just came out for MK11 Ultimate, lots of character changes to go over, but we're going to focus on Johnny Cage. Now, moment of truth guys, let's see. And Force Ball still whiff. But only on Joker only on joker that is right guys i have amazing news to share with you but before we get into that i just want to give a quick shout out to my superstar members of the channel dman2718 and mark foran you guys really help to support me you guys can join the channel as well and get access to things like my private discord for the low price of 199 a month and remember you can also just like and subscribe to support me it's much appreciated now getting into this guys i am not capping right now you're about to see that this just made my entire year like 2020 has been garbage but dude dude let's get ready cassie is set to crouch block right stance hold crouch block all right that's all you needed video's over i don't need to go over anything else thank you for watching but, um, look, guys, force balls, they jail. They jail on women. They jail on small hitbox characters except Joker. I love it. Stand two still whiffs, but force balls jail. That is so huge. Now, the, there are some characters where they don't work on all the time. So far, I've noticed the Joker, they completely whiff. He's the only character in the cast where they completely whiff over no matter what. Then Raiden, Raiden is inconsistent. Raiden, uh, it, it just whiffs sometimes, it's really strange. I don't know the circumstance of why it does and why it doesn't, but it was like that pre-patch. And Katana, Katana's is inconsistent. Up close, back 3-4 would jail on Katana, but max range back 3-4 and the force balls whiff. So I don't really know, but three out of you know the entire cast, that's not too bad. So this is a major buff for Johnny Cage. Now, how this changes things. The reason why people use Rising Star is because it makes things safe on block for Johnny. Like, so you could stagger stuff and reset neutral. So like, you know, you could do stuff like forward four Rising Star and reset neutral. It's really strong. You could do things like down one Rising Star to reset neutral. Whoops, she should be auto blocking. So you know, you could down one rising star, reset neutral. It's really strong stuff. Forward 344, four, whoops, forward 344 four, four, rising star to reset stuff. Whatever you guys were doing on block. That's why that's why it was good 1 2 1 rising star. But it spent a bar of defense and a bar of offense. So that's really not too great because of the fact, you know, you're spending a bar of defense meter. You need that for breakaways. So now you have that rising star for the down one mind games and for, you know, checking people on wake up. That's that's all you really need it for now. Maybe as a combo in there too, because he does get Oki off of it. Now that leads me to believe Johnny's custom variation that I made with uh with say cheese and rising star is somewhat obsolete i think this is still a really strong go-to but i think his best variation is just going to be showstopper i think showstopper might just be the strongest why because one force balls uh work on block now versus everyone except those three that I mentioned earlier. So, what else do you really need for pressure? You don't need that rising star to reset neutral. You have force balls, which use less resources. Then you may say, what about Oki? You know, I like doing down one rising star and committing on Oki because down one sucks to hit confirm. Down one is very hard to hit confirm. It's only plus 11, you know, so going into a jab afterwards is a little bit tough. But we have a new a new change, guys. They universally buffed and nerfed some pokes. I know some notable ones are Shao Kahn's down three now jails into a stand one, which 
that's actually really good for that character. So, you know, there's some interesting things like that. I'm still waiting for the patch notes to come out to see. But for Johnny, his down three is now plus 14. So what that means is jailing a jab after this is extremely easy. You can be plus three with a stand two. Because before you'd have to dash up after a down four and you know some ranges like it's really it's really scuffed to do and you know an online people will just mash down two out but now you have down three to easily jail into a stand two and be plus and then you can go for stuff like that oh, not rising star i'm gonna have to get that muscle memory out you know but you know jail that bop bop easy stuff you can go for pressure like that simple simple jails like that so why I don't think Rising Star is needed is because after that on Wake Up, you get a down three. So down three is really good because look at that pushback. I'm going to walk up down three and the pushback is insane. If you do it from right there, you basically get pushed out of any range where they could counter poke you aside from a few characters. Now, you know, Cassie could back two or something, but that's all it reads. But you get a safe down three. Now, if she doesn't block after Wake Up, you get your down three, jail into stand two. Like if she presses, boom, that's a full combo. I think I think the optimal Johnny Cage variation is just gonna be showstopper. Because instead of rising star, you know, you have your force balls to reset neutral to get plus frame, stuff like that. And then I don't see the need for rising star because on Oki you could just down three. So that opens up more room for customs. Like, you know, if you wanna if you wanna run uh if you wanna run you know high low force balls, I guess for some reason, you know, you still have your down three for Oki. You could run, you know, brass knuckles, pissed off, and uh whatever other moves you want because you have down three Oki now, you don't need to use a slot on rising star. While it's still good for getting a close range knockdown I don't really think it's necessary anymore because you have your force balls to rely on so I think showstopper is optimal because you get huge damage off of your BNBs. you get that huge unbreakable combo potential it's it's just really strong I don't need to explain that again I already did in my previous video you know side switch combos all that good stuff but now added with the fact that Force Ball's Jail on block is on crouch blocking opponents of all kinds. It's just, <laughs> I can't believe it, man. It's it's just too good to be true. Johnny's gonna be so good this time around. Like he's gonna he's gonna remain top tier, I think. And then down three being buffed is huge. You're gonna see that a lot more. Cause like, dude, I never I never used that move before. Like, I never found a use for it, but now that it's more plus, that might be my go-to poke. Because it leaves you plus 14 and they're, like, point blank. Like, you could still jail a stand 2 off it. So that opens up the fun, you know, auto shimmy mind game into that. And then that resets neutral, and then you get to play mind games like that into bop, bop, bop. Look at that chip damage. Absolutely insane. So, yeah, I think Showstopper might just be the optimal the optimal variation now i could see a case for you know having shades pissed off and rising star but you know johnny johnny's base toolkit now is just extremely strong to where you can use him however you want so if you guys are rocking showstopper you know i'm not i i think that's the way to go i think that's the way to go no need to rename the variation it's good enough as is I think it's really strong. Well, I think my other custom might be good too for certain situations. Like, I think I would use my other custom versus characters that Force Balls may whiff on, such as, you know, Joker, Raiden, and Katana, because that, that seems to be it, unless, you know, Melina for some reason it whiffs. Um, but yeah, dude, Force Balls jailing, so good, so good. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more coverage of the patch, let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content outside of this. I'm looking to you know, delve into Tekken pretty soon, so let me know if that's something you guys want to see. 
And let me know who you're most excited to see in this patch. I don't know who I'm going to cover next, but dude, Johnny is Johnny's so good now, man. Like, he was good before, but he really is just going to be top tier. I think I, that's my hot take. Johnny is going to be top tier. Extremely solid toolkit. You can really mess around with all this custom stuff because he just he has the adaptability, man. Good force balls, good buttons. What else do you need? Alright, thank you guys for watching.